Okay, so Imar is back with the bang. Parkland. I've had a lot of um, clients tell me, hey, you haven't spoken to Imar in a while. In fact, the last call I got from an investor from the UK sending me all the details of Golf Point saying, why aren't you talking about Golf Point? Let me explain a few terms, okay? This this affluent, right? $500,000 to a million dollars. That's your affluent crowd. Then you've got the ultra affluent. That's, let's say, from $5 million to around $10, $15 million. Then you've got your ultra high net worth individuals. So right now, this is sort of the crowd that's coming into Dubai. So we need to target the right products accordingly. If you're looking for a trade, if you're looking to make a smart investment move, you need to understand the crowd that's coming to Dubai. Let's review the products like last month, for example, Valley Phase 2, phenomenal product. Now, Valley, my bets on Valley, I've invested in Valley, a phenomenal product. I feel like it is the next Dubai Hills. There's a lot of potential. So, Valley Phase 2, again, Venera, if you made the right investment, especially the ones on the Pocket Park. You've not gone much about a thousand dirham per square foot. Uh, you've not invested in, in a back-to-back -back single row on the park, on the pocket park. Uh, a good product, you know, you've made a very, very good buy. Avena, beautiful, beautiful product. Semi-detached pillars, fantastic investment. Demac launched uh, Violet. I think that made a lot of sense. Price per square foot, the handover date, right? Okay, this is 27, 28. That's handing over 2026. I'm investing around a million, 1. 1 million to 1.2 million dirhams. So, you know, it's a, it's a very, very interesting product. Maritime City Pier. I love Maritime City by Devmark. So, Devmark is a marketing agency. There's a product by OBG that's coming in JVC. Extremely interesting. 3070 payment plan. I'll be discussing about that in my next video. This was a brilliant product. We were targeting the 04 and the 05s, the two beds right in the front. There are about 28 units I was targeting in the whole building. And we managed to secure some very, very interesting units. I'm very excited about that as well. Brilliant product. Shoba, bang. Oh my God. I, I, I came back with Shoba with a bang. I'm, I'm normally a very conservative investor. So if you study the master plan, I invested in Villa 143. So um, so that's quite interesting. Sydney Island, I have complete faith in Sydney Island. I think it's beautiful. It's fantastic. You should definitely look at the numbers of Sydney Island, both the apartments and the villas, because the apartments are around 1.1 million the rooms you can buy one bed with a full sea view fully furnished as well beautiful investment now why i didn't get into golf point see being near the airport is one thing and being right next to the airport is another thing right, okay and yes i know it's right on the golf course the price was 950,000. there were some units at around 850,000. let's say if you add the dld charges somewhere around a million dirhams right a million dirhams for one bed in emar south the problem with apartments is that you know there's a lot of competition Right. There, there is a lot of competition now. You'll be like, OK, well, OK, Sydney Island is in. You have to take a flight to Sydney Island. It's 45 minutes away. I'm like, that's a whole different concept. The UAE has officially announced casinos are coming. It is coming. If you look at the latest news, when casinos expanding, they bought more land. There's a lot of interest from MGM. This, this is again, who is it attracting? The ultra high net worth individuals, the villas in Marjan currently are like what falcon minal arab they cannot match the sydney island villas it's an ultra luxury resort lifestyle so at this stage the center of dubai you must understand at this point at least for the next 10 years the center of dubai is downtown dubai okay that is the center so i think there are three points you should be looking at right there's downtown dubai there's dubai hills there's dubai creek harbor and then you have this Mina rashid right so these at a 10 kilometer radius, right? These are your very interesting hot investment points. And because why? What is your competition for that? Garf Woods. Garf Woods is a phenomenal product. Look at the quality of that. that. So when you're looking at fancy apartments a bit far away from the center, you've got Garf Woods. Aldar at the Haven is coming up with these apartments. So, you know, uh, the apartment market is a bit complex. Now, why am I talking about Parkland? Uh, Parkland whole different concept right it's like right across the road to dubai hills mall dubai hills mall is currently my favorite mall in dubai <laughs> you know it's one of the best malls i think the second largest mall one of the best malls in dubai the sort of traffic that comes in dubai hills mall i'm i'm literally there almost every other weekend a walk across that mall you're right bang on a 160,000 square foot park 
you have the club close by you've got your schools close by you have your um king's uh, college hospital right there dubai hills is a loved destination all right let's put it this way people love dubai hills it's considered as again an ultra hni sort of destination the crowd over there is classy um, it's it's a good destination to invest that's why if you're looking for an extremely safe investment i think parkland it's an excellent investment i'm not saying that your investment is going to jump 60 70% but you know you're looking at a very strong 7 to 8% uh, roi what are the other investments i'll compare this with you've got violet phase 3 coming the handles in 2027 should definitely compare it with that that's another interesting investment the heights i know a lot of people have forgotten about heights but you must understand the way heights was sold was very different right the eois were submitted about 3 months ago the bookings are going to be now in 3 months between the lane the investors i think at least 60% of the investors have invested are going to be confused by other agents because the other agents are going to try and desell that product they be like oh you invested in heights oh my god the floor plans are so bad oh the location is too bad it's too far off you know so it's it's uh there are going to be a few cancellations of course not every agent can get access to cancellations only the powerful ones can so we can get you units in the heights basically so you need to compare dubai hills parkland violet phase 3 by demac the heights by ema start of a master plan it's a no brainer if you're investing at the start of a master plan but just by nature of how real estate works in dubai and how emr functions in every cluster they increase about 10 to 15% you're going to make uh, money another extremely interesting product elwood by shoba now of course it's a complete different product the starting prices are uh, 7.98 million dirhams uh it's a 10 million square foot plot only 450 houses again i've explained shoba villas are uh, a class of its kind 60 40 pm plan so what can you compare shoba elwood with so right now i've explained again dubai and the big developers are targeting the ultra chennais and they are very particular about what house the quality the finish the location the layout these are the things especially the quality of the finish of the property so we'll be comparing this with uh, albarari oasis are these are also between 10 and 12, 12 million square foot master communities limited number of villas but they're trying to keep it ultra luxury so when people migrate they are looking for communities where they can network networking is a business model in itself they are looking to network with like minded people now see invest some of the investors who come they're not coming to just invest with me i've had clients who say hey you know zoeb i want to go on kickboxing with you hey i want to go uh let's go racing you know let's uh hang out let's have lunch let's discuss let's get into business models together you know um it's a whole different market right people are coming to network they want to live in communities where they meet like minded people they understand different business models because dubai right it is the place right now right to start up a new business understand which business model when me and my let's say investors sit there's always some new business model that we're discussing where we're like oh my god there are too many business models we need to choose where to invest that is why these communities are very key because they get like minded people when the entry point itself is 8 million like the starting point of oasis was um 9.5 million dirhams that's it it's a block right when your starting point itself is around let's say 9 to uh, 8 million dirhams plus there's only a certain bracket of people that are going to stay or live in that community so that's the whole idea of these sort of ultra luxury communities so there are two reports that are to be made we are investing somewhere between let's say 1.5 to 2 million dirhams right so that's that's one report the second report is sort of this ultra luxury segment which i'm dabbling a bit into nowadays i feel like there's a lot of potential in that it's not just about the investment itself it's about the networking and it's about the ease of selling it because when you're selling that product the kind of buyer that you're going to get he's not going to haggle a lot he all he cares about is 
where is my product located what's the quality what's the finish okay i want to buy this it's for my family boom the deal is done your trade is done or if you want to lease it out again you're leasing it out to a very high-end clientele so i think these are the two kinds of products in the market we need to further probe into this whole situation the whole rich to buy poor to buy situation let me know in the comments i'm sorry this was a quick video it's like 10 p.m over here in dubai it's been a very long day but i had to make a video on parkland because you guys should not think that hey you know did, did Zohib top stop talking about emar no i love emar i love emar it's this it's the safest product to invest in uh, but I'm being very, very choosy about which products. In fact, I had a call from the US today. This girl wanted to invest into the property, uh, into a Damak, but her dad was like, no, just Emer. You know, like, uh, but she's like, yeah, the price is really good here. You know, I think she connected to Zohaib and he would explain the differences. So her father um, worked with Saudi Aramco and he's a tenured investor of Emer. He's invested in Emer over the last 15 years. And he's so comfortable with Emar, so he's about four to five investments with Emar, and he's like, so I'm, I'm having this discussion with him. Hey, you know, times are changing. You know, we need to understand every product. So this is how times are changing. Uh, perspectives are changing. I think you need to analyze all the products in the market and then make an informed decision. That's why I've like raised my hands. I'm not against any developer. I think every developer at this stage is fighting foot and nail. We need to understand quality, location, price per square foot, uh, growth actuals, and the demographic. If you understand this, we can make a very healthy investment. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to write in the comments. I'd be very, really happy to answer. In fact, I'm going to organize a live session. But what I'm really, really excited about, watch my podcast with Sunny, where uh, I'll be coming to uh, Marriott Grovner House in October in London. From October onwards, every month, we, are, we will be hosting events. So like I've always said, we'll be coming to the UK, we'll be coming to Europe, we'll be coming to um, Australia, US, Indonesia, Singapore and Hong Kong. So we'll be going back to back different countries from October onwards. We'll be on a roll because, and we're going to come with a very different concept. We'll be educating the world on how to save tax, unique methods on how to save tax, how to take full advantage of the Dubai real estate market. So this is not just going to increase my community, this sort of community we're building of investors. Uh, it's, uh, it's just going to be fun. So thank you for watching. Mohammed Zaheb signing out.